What's going on everybody and welcome back to another review video. Big shout out goes out to Winged One for reaching out to me and asking me to review one of their e-bikes. This is the K2 model. This is a super cool looking e-bike at a very affordable price. We're gonna start by talking about the specs. We'll do a speed test, maybe an off-road test over here because it does have suspension. We'll do a brake test and then final thoughts. Let's start with the specs of this thing. So what we got here is the Wind One K2 electric bike. It has a 500 watt, 700 watt peak hub motor in the rear, coupled with a 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery. This should give you a range of up to 40 miles, depending on how you ride, of course. We have 20 by four inch fat tires with a really cool rim design, which I really like. Hydraulic brakes front and rear with a 180 millimeter rotor. That's always nice. We have a front suspension fork and a rear mono shock. Seven speed Shimano with the Shimano derailleur. A very nice extra large seat with passenger pegs. That is awesome. A very cool looking headlight. The total weight of this bike is 88 pounds. And the max load capacity is 330 pounds. And up on the handlebars, we have a full twist throttle, our front brake, a horn button, and our Shimano gear changer. In the middle, we have a very nice color display. And on the left side, we have our rear brake, our on and off switch, and mode selector. And that is pretty much all for the specs. Now, as far as the price, if I'm not mistaken, this e-bike is currently on sale for $799 instead of like $1,500. That is an insane price for everything that I just mentioned in the specs. That is insane. I review a lot of these bikes and just the fact that it has hydraulic brakes, which come on guys, at this point, all of these bikes should come with hydraulic brakes. I don't like seeing mechanical brakes. I mean, they work, but... This is such an upgrade pretty insane and i really really dig how big this seat is and these passenger pegs amazing what a genius idea all right now we are ready for our speed test but before we do that i'm going to show you the starting procedure pretty simple you just got to make sure the battery is on there's an on off switch over here make sure that battery is on and there is no key necessary there is a key, but the key is to remove the battery and lock it into place. So we'll get on this thing and super simple. You have a power button right here, right in front of you. You hold that for like a second or two. The screen will come on. Once the bike is on, we're going to be on uh, zero mode zero, which means no throttle. This is uh, it's going to operate like a normal bicycle. We have five modes. One, two, three, four, five. Now the throttle once you get out of zero if you're on one the throttle will start working and the throttle is going to be full power no matter what pedal assist mode you're in so the modes are directly correlated to the pedals the throttle will always give you full throttle which is kind of nice to have another cool thing that i like is this bike does have brake sensors but they're right in front of you so you can disconnect them if you don't like that feature okay so we are on level assist one i'm just going to give it a little bit of throttle to get going and then start with pedals only and there it is it kicks in about a revolution a revolution and a half my phone is showing five and the bike is showing six okay let's go to whoa pedal assist two is much faster oh my god what a difference bike is showing 12 miles an hour and my phone is showing 11 miles an hour not bad very close let me turn around and we'll do pedal assist 3 okay pedal assist 3 oh huge difference oh man bike is showing 19 GPS is showing 18 that was pedal assist 3 let's go to pedal assist 4 yeah torque is insane close my 
close my visor bike is showing 22 will my GPS show 20 20 okay 20 miles an hour on pedal on pedal assist 4 now let's try pedal assist 5 oh yeah now you're moving definitely feels like you're moving this thing is pretty fast I just hope I have enough room for the GPS to catch up bike is showing 28 miles an hour and my phone is stuck on 25 miles an hour yeah I kind of ran out of room but that's still fast I mean if you guys uh, follow my reviews anything uh, on the e-bikes 25 miles and or faster is, is you definitely feel like you're actually moving which is uh, definitely nice so that was our speed test now I want to try a brake test I got my camera set up over there behind us so we can see how the distance of how long it takes to brake I come over here turn around and go there is uh, this purple mark purple writing on the ground I'm gonna hit the brakes when I get to that point and let's see what happens one two you can see that the tire locked up and we are at about 20 feet 20 to 25 feet give or take all right one more time for science sake yeah, this thing picks up speed fairly quick let's see what happens I don't think my camera is far enough but here we go same uh, same result same exact result well that was the brake test now let's do some off-roading I mean we are at the Volted Adventures world famous testing ground and this bike does have suspension so let's see how it does off-roading over here okay So far, not bad. I mean, the price is amazing for everything you're getting over here. It's pretty good. But so far, not a problem. Hub motor is working great. And the suspension held up. It is a little bit of a bumpy of a track. But we did it with no problems all right final thoughts this thing is nice I always say in all my review videos it's value for money that I'm looking looking at over here and the value for money over here is absolutely insane for everything that you're getting it's not gonna be the fastest bike in the world it's not gonna have the greatest suspension in the world but for what it is, $800, that is absolutely insane. And I am very much amazed and pleased with this great looking e-bike, by the way. Now, some people don't get these for off-roading and things like that. They might get it for a short commute, maybe to ride around the neighborhood, go to 7-Eleven, things like that. Ride around the park. This is absolutely amazing for that. Great looking e-bike, amazing price. If you guys are interested, as always, I will have an affiliate link in the description. That will help me out a lot if you use that link to make a purchase. If you guys found this review helpful, then definitely help me out by leaving a like and commenting on this video. If you guys want to see more of these reviews and there are plenty more coming, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But that is pretty much it for me. My name is Tom. 
this was the wind one k2 electric e-bike review i appreciate you guys watching thank you very much and i'll catch you on the next one peace